I woke up with a sudden start feeling my whole left arm pumping up just like a basketball, feeling like it was going to explode. And I got up and uh, shortly after threw up. Heart trouble hit Jeannie Nelson suddenly. The real trouble was her heart itself gave Nelson no telltale signs of trouble, not a whisper. She didn't even see her doctor right away. I have never had a chest pain, ever. My symptoms weren't that way. Mine was the arm feeling like it was going to blow up. Cardiologists like Dr. Mohit Posse, seen here in the heart catheterization lab at Rex Hospital, say women and their doctors often miss the signs of heart disease in women. That's because the warning bells for women are very different from those that ring loudly for men. Instead of having the chest pressure, the classical pressure that men describe with exertion, which we call as angina, women can have neck pain, shoulder pain, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, which sometimes are not typical of somebody with heart disease. A catheterization test at Rex Hospital brought Nelson's problem into clear view. All this black stuff is blood flow in her heart. And all this is big black, and then it kind of, see how it narrows down here? Mm -hmm. That's really the blockage with cholesterol and plaque. And that blockage is more than 50%. A 50% blockage in one artery, an 80% blockage in another. Doctors put in two stents in 2003. We put a wire down across the blockage. And you see this big fat thing here? That's the stent that I'm inflating at the side of the blockage, and I mash it to the side. Okay. And you will see the results of it after I put the stent in. Now see where that blockage was? It's big black now. See how this is big, big mm -hmm. black here, blood flowing all through? A few years later, when Nelson became easily exhausted and short of breath while hiking the Rockies, she thought it was simple overexertion. Doctors thought so too. Weeks later, a yearly treadmill test uncovered the truth. They just said, just take it easy because you could have a heart attack. And um, that's when it got scary, <laughs> Real, the realization of what had been going on. Dr. Posse discovered a blockage in Nelson's main artery, or what he calls the main tree trunk. So when the blockage in the main tree trunk is more than 50%, it's important, it's significant. It needs to be fixed. So the best approach for her was bypass surgery. Nelson is doing fine now and wants women to know the difference that may save their lives. In addition to different symptoms than men, the cholesterol risk factor for women is very different. LDL cholesterol, which is the bad cholesterol, high, higher LDL cholesterol is a risk factor for men. For women, what is important risk factor is a low HDL, which is the good cholesterol. But the most dangerous and decisive difference? Women, when they present with heart attacks, they have more chances of dying from a heart attack than men. So they are actually sicker when they present than men. They are so busy with taking care of children at home, they just cannot fall sick because they have so much stuff. They're, they're working, they're taking care of children, so they tend to ignore their symptoms. I just never ever was an emergency room type of person. I would try to take care of it myself. Um, being a rugged individualist isn't going to keep you living if it is something serious like that. 